Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square method. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first step, I want you to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side. So that means this negative 16 must go on the other side. You have to get rid of it. So you put plus 16 on this side and plus 16 on this side. So what happened? This cancels out. We got what? x squared plus 6x equals to 0 plus 16 is 16. So as you can see, only x's are on the left hand side. Next step, I want you to look at the coefficient for x only for the coefficient of x, which is what? 6. Don't worry about the sign over here. Just put down 6 right up here. I want you to take the half of it. That means you're going to divide it by 2. Once you divide by 2, we're going to get what? 3. Then the next step is I want you to square that one. So once again, what we did is we took this 6, put it down, take the half of that one. That turns out to be 3. And the next step is then square it. So I want you to add this 3 squared on both sides. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I'm going to write down x squared plus 6x plus over here. I will tell you what I'm going to do next. 16 plus. Now I want you to put down this 3 squared on this side and 3 squared on this side. Why we did this one? Whatever we put the quantity on the left hand side, we must put the same quantity on the right hand side because we have an equation equal sign. So now look at this one over here. This is what? x and this 3, number 3, and this plus sign, they must show up right up here. This whole thing is going to become a complete square. So put down x and then this sign, what? Plus, and this 3, this become complete square equal to 16 plus 9. So what happens next is that's going to become what? x plus 3 squared equals to 25. Since we want to solve for x, we must get rid of this square. How you can undo this square? By taking the square root. So I'm going to take the square root on this side and I'm going to take the square root on this side. And don't forget to put plus or minus sign over here. So as you can see, this square and square root, they undo each other. So we got what? x x plus 3 equals to this square root of 25 is simply what? Positive and negative 5. Now we must uh, isolate x. We want to solve for x. I'm going to put negative 3 to get rid of this 3. And also I'm going to put negative 3 on this side as well. So this is going to what happened. This cancels out. So you got x equal to what? Plus or minus 5 minus 3. So as you can see right now, positive negative 5, we're going to split this one up with the positive and then negative over here, as you can see. So I'm going to put down then what? I'm going to put down positive 5, then minus 3, and then negative 5 minus 3 right up here. So that is going to become simply what? It's going to become positive 2. So we got x equal to positive 2. And on this side, x is going to become what? Negative 8. So we got these two solutions, either x equals to positive 2 or we got x equals to negative 8. Our solution are you can also put it down like this way. Thus, our solution set is simply negative 8, comma 2. That is our answer. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.